nearly 40,000 Verizon workers continue to strike, some of them right here in our area. Union workers say because they've been on strike, their health benefits have been taken away. WSOS 10's Duke Carter explains how the union is stepping in to help one local woman get the medical treatment she needs. We spoke to many Verizon workers and they say that having health benefits is really vital for them. One of them has told us that she's on dialysis because her kidney has failed. Verizon workers are still marching, holding signs in front of many locations a month after they went on strike. But just this past week, workers claim they lost all their health benefits. They didn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it was a scare tactic. A scare tactic, protesters claim, to get them back to work. For a company, Sandy Holback has worked for almost two decades as a... 411 operator. She says health benefits are vital for her life. I have to have it. I'm on dialysis, and I have to have dialysis to live. And um, it's very expensive. My medicine's very expensive. One of her treatments cost about $350 a day. Luckily, her labor union is covering her expenses, as it is all the other roughly 400 Verizon strikers. The union's got our back on this, and that's the reason people aren't going back across that picket line, because they know they've got to stand together now more than ever. The president of local chapter 2204 Communication Workers of America, Chuck Simpson, says there is a defense fund which pays for health care costs to protect striking workers. Simpson says the workers will stay on strike because of jobs going overseas and outsourcing. This is a fight for the middle class and uh, to give, keep good jobs in this area, to keep good jobs on the East Coast. So that workers, like Sandy, can get back to work. I just want my job. I want job security. I just want to be able to work. Union workers hope to have a rally within the next coming days to talk about several issues like health benefits. In Roanoke, Duke Carp, WSLS 10. Well, thanks, Duke. Of course, we're still waiting for a comment now from Verizon about the health care benefits being cut. They did send us a statement about the original strike, and in part it says, quote, Verizon is prepared to serve its customers, and thousands of non-union workers have been trained to cover additional assignments. That's the end of the quote.